Yeah. Holy big. They are right in front of the boat. They're going towards you now, Devin. They're going towards you now, Devin. Oh. Yep. That was a good. What up guys, welcome back to the one of days. Today we're getting out with Devin and Chef Bad Bass. We're taking the RT188P man and guess what? She's a little dirty today. Took her down the gravel roads on the way out and we're hitting the gas station and guess what? I pulled up to the only pump that doesn't accept cards. Just my luck man, so what I had to do is grab the nozzle from the one next door. We've got her filled up man and we're ready to hit the water. Come on along, let's have some fun. Hey, Dev grabbed us some jalapeno kolaches too. Look at that, y'all. Chef hooked it up, man. He made us some cookies this morning, some oatmeal pecan. <laughs> oh, my oh my gosh, God. he only makes the finest stuff. Oh, the best cookie that you ever have. Going to change your life. Uh, the goods. All right, let's go. Get in the water. <laughs> you do. Oh my God, dude, you like, choked it. More. All right, guys, first fish on the boat this morning. He's so little, I didn't even know I had a fish until I saw my line kind of doing something weird. But based off of this little guy, I figured out that they might be a little bit deeper today. So we actually just changed over the uh, transducer to deeper view mode. We're still figuring this out. Anyways, I'm gonna keep throwing the Nico rig, maybe change up the color a little bit, something that they can see. And uh, let's get some more catches, guys. They're all around it, they're looking at it. Do you see it? That thing is swimming up. I just scared a bunch of shad. Look, they're coming at it. There's two. They're right in front of it. They're, they're like fight over it. They're gonna fight over it at some point. Like they're they're just looking at it. They're not wanting this jig. What do you say? Mine was so little, it was crazy. Oh. oh, I'm so sorry. I don't think so. Great, no, I do. Go, 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 Devin. Oh my god. Oh wow. Oh my god. Oh wow. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. We don't have one. We don't have one. Alright, bring them up. Oh I'm the citizen, girl. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> there you go. That's the biggest one on the boat. Oh That's all you. <laughs> all right. She just broke the rod I was using. <laughs> Dude. That's what I'm talking about. I set that hook right into you. <laughs> <laughs> Check out. I think New we're on him. First fish caught on the Pearl Citizen. Just dipped her. We're gonna go ahead and get a weight and put her in the live well. Dang guys, almost a four pounder second fish of the day. Beautiful fish. We gotta get some more of these ones. Okay, y'all, no more Nico rig for me. She got got. <laughs> we just got our spinning combo set back up. <laughs> All right, guys, so I'm gonna do the same dang thing. I got a hit on that uh, bait that Devin just threw last time we were here. She just caught the biggest fish we've ever caught on the boat and on this lake, on this fish right here. Mind you, it's a new boat, and we will catch bigger than that fish, hopefully even today. But uh, I'm gonna rig up the same thing, y'all. I've got an ADOT beast hook right here. You guys have seen me rig this in one of the uh, previous videos. There we go. You want a topo or anything, Chef? Chef? Yes! Oh! He's on! On the fall! I got it, I got it, I got it. No way, dude. They're hitting white today. On the fall with the white chatterbait. <laughs> I'm like a sweet baby bass smell in the morning, man. Oh. oh, you know what? I never put it on auto, so it's just continuously recirculating. Just put the live well on auto because it was just continuously flowing water in there. <laughs> and uh, Chef got her in there. All right. When you're done, come on up here. I want to show you this like uh, live scope transducer. No one has really used the, the mode that we've been using, the perspective mode, because it's brand new, like this week or this month. It just oh, came really? out. Yeah. Like live scope has been around, but you'll see more stuff on perspective mode now. And that allows you to get the shallow water view. And that piece just came out. So that's the transducer for live scope. And so it's in perspective view and it's just scanning the area left to right. What this also does is you can rotate this and then there's down view if you want to go straight down and fish deep water. So we're just going to try forward view for a second. Let me set it back down in the water. Let me get this off the rod. Setting it back down in the water. And here in just a second, it's going to switch from the perspective mode 
to the down. It's gonna auto adjust. Transducer, orientation, change to down. It's set on a nine foot range because I had it on like a manual deal, but we're in 10 foot of water, so we need to up the range. The yeah. And uh, we can adjust the sensitivity right here. And you can watch your like jig or your bait just in the water column. It's pretty nuts, man. There's like a tree right oh, here. Yeah, when, it looks that, when it looks that way, it catches that tree. About 10 feet out. I'm going over there. Oh, that looked like something on it. Okay, okay. Texas rig. Where's that trench hog? Looks like that tree thing is more to the left now. Okay, this is the cast. Oh! Yes. Oh, this is the cast! He was on it. He was on it. Nope, trench hog. Uh, he's okay. Nope, I got him. I got him. I got him. He's all right. Net. <laughs> right off that tree, dude. Live scoped him right off the tree. That's what I'm talking about. Woo! Right on the tree. I knew I'd hit the spot that time. First time like sight fishing with live scope, dudes. I knew I wanted to hit that tree down there. That was so dope. I got the cast just right on it. Yo big old June bug trench hog. The trolling motor is on spot lock right now. And so like as it rotates and it hits this certain point, we see it looking at the very bottom, we see this big stump sticking up. And I say, I gotta hit it, dude, I gotta hit it. And so I'm like pinpointing its location as it's rotating. And uh, I finally got the perfect cast. I wasn't casting far enough. And I said, you know what? I cast it a little bit farther and I had the perfect direction. And I said, this is the one. And he hit it right on the fall, man. We'll weigh this guy real quick and then let's put him in the live bowl. We're gonna try and get a good top five for you guys today. 2.71. All right, almost three pounds, man. Riled up in there. <laughs> guys, so look, whenever the trolling motor looks that way, slightly to the left where I cast it, you'll see that tree. Let me tell you when it's looking that way. It's starting to look left. There it goes, it just passed it. That's right where that fish was, dude. So I'm gonna try and hit that some more with the trench hog. This changes the game, dude. I wouldn't have known, to, uh, like there's no way I would have cast it right there over and over. Should we get a little closer and just jig down? Sure. Okay, dude, we're on it. Dude, there's crappie all over our tree now. Wow. Wait, wait, wait. look, look, look at that. Wow, look, look, there's the tree. Crazy, dude. They're under the boat, dude. I mean, like it has to be crappie, right? Like yeah. what? Oh look at my them all, God. Dude. Look at them all. They're dude. everywhere. <laughs> Oh, that was you. See it no. swim up to the boat? <laughs> I was like, oh, dude, big one coming at us. <laughs> yeah, because I'm over here to the left. There's those crappie, dude. What the f Oh, I had a bite. Dude, I, I had a saw, bite. I look, saw it happen. look, I saw look, it happen. You saw it happen on the screen? Dude, I saw it happen with the crappie. I saw it happen. Dude. Oh, dude. No, we're right on it. Right on it. Drop it down. Like Chef's in front of the tree. I'm in the tree. Devin's behind the tree. We're all just having a good old time out here. We're playing video games, man. This is ridiculous. The only problem is there's no fish on it now. We're literally directly above it. The school of fish has exited the premises. So I'm popping. Where's my bandito bug? There's the bandito bug. Watch. Pop. 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 I'm going to let it sink. Pop. Pop. Oh, you have it. Pop. You can even see the braided line. Freaking crazy. Mmm. What? Ain't nothing like oatmeal pecan. Yes! Yes! Another on the citizen. Holy shit, this is big. Alright, okay. Alright, okay. Okay. Now I can only handle so many lies. This is big. This is big. No way. This is big. Yeah, this is big. Don't pump the rod. Crank, crank. Don't this pump the rod. Big. He's not that big. Ah! You're getting it. Get it. <laughs> 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 I think it's up. It had 30%. Let me know when you're ready. Ready. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> 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 So we got it out there. <laughs> she was giving that fish a dunk to talk about it on camera. We were just about to put it in the live well. That was going to be our fourth one. <laughs> dip him in the live well next Yeah, time. dip him in the live well. Take off like all of my thumb skin. <laughs> Stupid. All right, well that was my second fish on the Citizen. Actually, that broke this one in. This was the, the other new one. So there's been a catch on t both of our new Pearl Citizens. Man, what the hell, I just went to... Oh, oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Dang it, I was gonna go in the live while that was gonna be fish number four. I guess we have to catch more.
Yes, it is right under the bed. Yeah. Oh, got smacked. They're under us. Yeah, let's hang out. Whoa! Whoa! Oh. <laughs> he came up and smoked it. It's probably the lightest fish we pulled out of here. Definitely. Yeah. You gotta work on your summer tan. All right, go on. Go get some sun. There you go. I saw that. All right. I saw that. There we go. Whoa. Nice. Ricochet off the boat, black and blue, crack and crawl. It's been a while since we've caught a fish, ladies and gentlemen. Flip the reeds, that's all I've been saying for a minute just because we've been doing everything but that and I figured, you know, let's just mix it up. The clarity today is not the same as it has been on previous visits, so we have gone with the black and blue crawl. Just kind of a general rule, if you are uh, if you could only have two colors, you'd probably go with something like a natural crack and crawl and then black and blue. You got your clear water, you got your stained water. There's of course way more to it than that, a lot of color options, but that is just a good base, natural colors in the clear water. I'm gonna put him, I don't think we should put him in the live well. <laughs> this would be top five. All right, y'all, here we go. We're going for the fifth fish in the box. We would have had five right now, but Devin, Done dropped him in the water. <laughs> Let's see if we can't get one more out of this place. Holy big. They're coming towards you, Jeff. Oh, wow. They're still right there. They are right in front of the boat. They're going towards you now, Devin. Oh. Yep. Was... No way. Oh. Yep. That was oh, a good. Man. Oh, he came off. Oh. Fudge. God dang it. That oh. was a good hook set, too. I said they're coming to you. Boom. Dude, that was crazy. That's insane right Watch there. It. I reeled in and I felt the weight, so I set the hook and it took drag automatically. I thought I had him pinned. I mean, I he was there. I should have set that hook twice. Oh, oh right at the boat. He came off. What? What the? F I'm so confused. That fish was chasing it all the way up to the boat. I'm setting hooks like four times now. Whoa! No! Oh! Whoa! Wow! Damn, that was giant, dude. Oh! Whoa. Wow! Was that grass or a fish? That was a fish. <laughs> what did it snap? It snapped right at the rod. Nope, nope. It snapped right at the rod. Not much more we could have done. It's all good. We're gonna try and get some more, y'all. It's actually put in some good use and we've been really keying in on them, just using it on like a tree. There's a tree out here somewhere that we found. Yeah, you too, good luck. Look at this. Woo. I'm so excited that I, I, I have goosebumps right now. This is my first time ever throwing the, the Citizen and working class zero, this guy is absolutely amazing. Like obsessed with the color and the design of this bait and I'm super excited. I've been wanting to throw these for so long ever since I saw them. That is goosebumps because I am that excited to tie this lure on. I don't know about you all, but I get super excited when it comes to bass fishing. I'm gonna get this tied on, get it in the water, and show you what the citizen can do. We got Jeff hooked up with the Emerald Speckle 6. That caught a lot of fish for us down in Austin. And you know we saw the crappie all over that tree earlier. I think that thing's gonna do some serious damage. Let's get in the water. Yeah. Oh! No fucking way. Wow, dude. Fuck. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. With those last misses, we are wrapping up an epic day. With a couple unfortunate turn of events, we stepped on a rod. We lost multiple expensive and highly sought after baits, some of our favorites, man. But it's okay. We are going to get some more. Another drop for Working Class Zero is coming up very soon, and we're definitely going to be picking up a lot of these battle shads. If you guys aren't signed up for the newsletter, you're probably going to miss out because these things are going to sell out in the first few minutes. We're trying to go for some giants. Devin definitely broke off on a big one there towards the end. Uh, it wasn't her fault. There was not much else you could do right or wrong. She just came off. On the bright side, y'all, we got our four biggest fish. What well, was almost about to be five, right? We were about to have that big <laughs> one that got away. We're going to release our top four fish for you guys right now underwater.